Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. All righty. Number six, there was a time in our nation's history when glass dresses were a thing. At least they try to be a thing. At the 1893 World's Fair here in Chicago, people lined up to get a glimpse of the ultimate evening gown made entirely out of hand-spun glass. It was uh, a product of the Libby Glass Company and took workers 67 hours to make. It was beautiful, but it also weighed 14 pounds. Ooh. You couldn't move or walk around in it. All you could do was stand there and be admired. So the whole glass dress idea, in theory, was a success, not a commercial success. Yeah, I uh, hmm. looked surprisingly pliable. Yeah. Too. All right, number five, it's Monday. Here's something you might not know about the movie Jaws. Richard Dreyfus was not the first choice to play the oceanographer Matt Hooper. Director Steven Spielberg had some other people in mind. He liked John Voight, Timothy Bottoms, or Jeff Bridges for that role. But oh, his man. friend, George Lucas, suggested Dreyfus. He had just directed him in American Graffiti. You're going to need a bigger yeah. post. And the rest yeah. is movie history. Yeah. Ooh, Jeff Bridges would have been good. All right, number four, we all know the poem, something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue, but do we know the rest of it? According to some historians, there's a fifth version and a sixpence in her shoe, more specifically, a silver sixpence in the bride's left shoe to ward off bad luck. Uncomfortable, probably went away. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. why, yeah. yeah. Number three, check this out. It's a three-story catamaran that they're calling the penthouse of the high seas, and the top level is a sky lounge complete with full bar. The yacht will make its debut at the Cannes Yachting Festival, so this is a bit of a sneak peek. It's from a company called Silent Yachts. The price? Who cares? We'll never buy it. Uh, we just like to look at it. But Beautiful. at least it's not a Kickstarter campaign. It's right. actually going to be It's yes. almost done. Yeah. I feel like we've seen something like that. Very before. nice. All right, number two. There's no other reason for this story other than pure beauty. Excuse me. We're looking at highlights from the 2023. Is it the Skia Pirelli Fall Show? Sure. Yeesh. Let's just take some time to enjoy the looks, shall we? Yeah. The theme, human couture. What we like most about this, the way they put volume and structure yeah, and color. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. And all very wearable. <laughs> well. I mean, it really, it, it goes anywhere. Especially that one. Yes. Out to eat. Yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you're talking. <laughs> what is that? With the fake arms. Oh, huh, what do you know? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's all about getting eyes on it. There we go. All right, number one, have you heard about mine spiders? They like to hang out in abandoned mines and caves in Mexico. Oh, my Look sweet at that. mother of pearl. According to spider uh, scientists, they're whoa. not poisonous, but what they lack in venom, they make up for in size. Their legs can be four inches across, oh. and their body's about an inch wide, which means they're roughly the size of a softball. Mm. Ugh. You're always judging people on their looks, Robin. <laughs> Ugh. That one looks a little cute, that last one at least, right? You don't have a spider issue, it's just the birds? Well, just that one image. Oh, God, that's yeah, a six and six. There we go. In the cat. Yeah. All right.